Growing up, I've never traveled anywhere beyond Southeast Asia, let alone a destination this far across the globe. And between all the old buildings, museums, and basilicas this entire trip, I thought I should visit a theme park here in Europe. I found one called Movie Land all the way in Lake Garda, which was also the largest lake in Italy. I was intrigued by the unique concept, and thankfully, I have lovely Sum here to accompany me. I wouldn't have gone myself, by the way. Oh, yeah! Red carpet, red carpet. Can we see the red carpet? As the name Movie Land suggests, all the rides are based on movies. Almost every hour, there is a cast of actors who will act in a show for about 30 minutes of movie genres from fantasy, action, and a good old US military stunt show. This action movie show is definitely the most memorable for me. Sum and I unknowingly volunteered ourselves to be Kelly Ferris in the action sequence, all because of my greed to get the best view of the show. And also, they let us in, so we were definitely casted for this role. It looks so happy seeing us, so excited. They acted in some scenes live, and then got volunteers, and then added them all together for a short montage at the end. There was this enthusiastic pair who volunteers for every show possible. And this scene stealer uncle, who was so good. I laughed so hard every time I watched my video of him. I mean, he's amazing in this. I love it so much. Directing the guy to act as a homeless guy. Oh my god. Let's go! Action! No, you see the big screen, see the big screen. <laughs> oh my god, he's that good, man! <laughs> Sadly, you can't spot us on a big screen, but the whole theme park definitely recognized us two foreigners from Singapore after this. The rides in the park were all pretty unique. This roller coaster ride went so hard, I thought my hair was gonna fly off the seat. Hands roller coaster! We sat twice and my leg is jelly! <laughs> then there's this cool rocket ride with zero gravity simulations. Oh, best ride ever! Oh, I'm so forgetting! This big thing which went on for so long. My head hurts, I was so dizzy. A classic vlog, right? Oh, 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 this is a drop! Oh my god, drop! Oh my, oh my god! What? <laughs> Level 2, are we ready? Oh. 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 Let's oh, get it. Yeah. Wow. Nice, thankfully. The view of the lake! Okay. Ciao! Ciao! Okay, that will be us very, very soon. No regrets. One last look at the view. And this boat ride 
they had no seal belts on like seriously i was hanging on for dear life i thought i was just going to fall into the pool every time the driver saw off. and this jungle adventure ride thing this was my personal favorite i felt like i was shooting the italian version of indiana jones The duration of each ride is much longer than a typical theme park and so you get all immersed in the story and the action around you. And while there are not many rides in the park, each ride is very immersive and very satisfying so you can easily spend a day here. Some more kiddish ride, but we just have to ride everything, so <laughs> we went on them as well. Wow, with the sunglasses! <laughs> Slay! Biker girl! The cast was so, so good. All the actors, the dancers, the stuntmen and the singers, they put up a fantastic show. And the last show actually lasts for almost an hour. And if you want to get a free drink after the show, you can volunteer yourself to be part of action. You can ride some of the stuff that a normal park goer will not be able to access. So I think that was really cool. I wish I understood what they asked for and volunteered myself. So yes, this is your chance. Go for it. <laughs>
Even though we did not understand a single word the entire day, the park just made it so welcoming and so fun for us that I just felt like an Italian speaking a different language, essentially. There were not a lot of foreign tourists here in the park, so we felt good. It felt like I was a local here in Italy, just vacationing in Lake Garda. We even caught a glimpse of the cars fooling around after the show ended, and because of that, we missed our last shuttle bus to the train station. Yes, so we were literally stranded, and I think Sum secretly hates me in that moment. There was no way out unless we took a bus, but God knows when the bus was even gonna come. And I convinced her to hitchhike together. And after a while, we saw this lady who was the staff at the park returning to her car in the parking lot. We asked her for directions and she invited us to ride her car with her. Thank God for this beautiful soul. God bless her. Conversing in body language, she offered to drive us to Verona where she was headed. And Sum said yes because she thought that Verona was Venice. Oh my god, no. Venice is Venezia in Italian, not Verona. It took me a while to realize that we exceeded our train station. And we had to tell her to drive back to the town to drop us off at the train station. It was so chaotic, I felt so bad, but she was so nice about it. Oh my gosh, bless her soul. Traveling really gives us the best stories. This day alone was such a wild ride. It was absolutely hilarious thinking back on it now, but I would definitely not recommend hitchhiking for girls. This was an exception. It's a theme park and the patrons around the area are families, so I felt safer to do this, but please just don't miss the bus. <laughs> Thankfully, I booked a late train and we still had some time to get dinner and walk around the water area a little bit. 